What's up, everybody? Gibson's Lawn Service checking back in. This is what I call the heel test. Whatever kind of mower you got, you want to make sure it can hold a heel. Now, it's not about cut quality right now because everything is wet and this stuff was literally 13 inches. So it's a new property. But this is the heel I'm working with. You see what that mower is? Now, let's be realistic on how it really looks. I, I'm at the bottom of the hill right now. And I want y'all to see how it looks from the ground. That's the hill I'm working with. Now, the V-Ride held that hill good, but now I want y'all to see these, it's wet. See that is wet. All that's wet. It's wet. And the fact that it was wet and it still held the heel pretty good is awesome. Now the cut quality right now, it's horrible. It's trash. Because like I said, again, everything is wet. And I'm cutting it, I'm cutting everything on high as the deck can go. I don't want to drop it real low because all the thing it's gonna do is clump up. But what I do when I'm gonna come back <clears throat> about a week or so or two weeks when everything's dropped, man, I almost fail. When everything is dry then that's when i get that good quality so it don't look like it's steep until you get down a pretty steep hill so if anybody's in my area they got any kind of more y'all want to test this hill out hit me up but that's a steep hill that's steep but let me get out of here man it's saturday it's the last property so I can get home. Believe this, I've never been the biggest, the fastest, the strongest I've never needed to be, right? Because I believe at the core of what it is, is it's my will versus your will. It's my bloodline versus your bloodline. It's what I represent versus what you represent. It's what I believe versus what you believe, right? And so when I see this game and I look at it from the perspective that I view it through, right? The thing that hurt me the most when I got injured, it wasn't that my career ended. It wasn't that. Right? It's when I went to watch a game or watch a practice and you would see a cat that took it for granted and didn't appreciate it. Right? Like I'm from the school of thought. I can't understand how a cat can say they want something and not give everything they got to it. Right? I'm from the school of thought. When a cat is a part of something, organization, team, brotherhood, and you look a man in his eyes and tell him you're going to give him everything he got, and then the situation or the circumstances change, and then you allow your actions to betray your words. I can't understand or comprehend that. That's hard for me. Right, so when I got here, it meant something different to me. My mother was working a double shift at Wendy's when I got here. Had me at 16 years old. Came from a two bedroom home with 14 people in the city of Atlanta. First one in my family to get a scholarship. Right, so I was thinking legacy the whole time. And I'll never forget the first summer I got here, I was in my locker and I saw one of my 